Greetings and salutations everyone, I am as always Darth Devious bringing you another video review and this time from Transformers Prime, it's Beast Hunter Shockwave. And just showing off the box real quick, you know, you got a little right up there, this is tech specs if you want them, there you go. Product shots on the back with his, you know, armor, I hate that stuff. Picture of him on the back, artwork with the armor on it. Yeah, I doubt we're going to see this armor on the show. I really do. And if we do, it ain't going to be that great. Alright, let's get the box out of here. So, Shockwave. Come on down. In his H-Tank version. And this is actually pretty cool, I must say. Um, his robot mode's better, but this isn't bad for an H-Tank, Cybertronian version of a tank. You know. Yeah, there's his head. Who cares? Visible hand syndrome. Grabbing the front of the tank. Meh. Gimmick. That's kind of cool. You know? Got a little non-firing missile in there, but... You know, it simulates what, what his arm cannon does in the show. Alright. We'll take a look at his armor pieces, just for ha-has. And, you know, they're rubbery plastic. They're not as soft as like, you know, what was on uh, smokescreen, but, you know, like these can plug in here. And this would clip on up here and I just don't care. I mean, look at this thing. It looks like some sort of mutated Majora's mask. Right there. Um, yeah. That's what it looks like. It looks like Majora's Mask. Uh, like from the end of Majora's Mask when, when it was a monster. And it had tentacles coming down. See, here's the tentacles. Others say when they see this, they want lobster. You know. It is what it is. I'm not showing these in robot mode. It's stupid. It's not needed. He's good without it. Alright. So. He rolls. You know, he's got, you know... Wheels here. He's got another set of wheels here. Real rubber for the treads of the tank, which is nice. Um, there's a reason for that. You got rubber back here, which we'll go into in robot mode. So, you know. So yeah, I'm going to get him transformed. It's an actual very simple transformation. I'll get him transformed, and then we'll take a look at him in his robot mode. Be right back. <laughs> Alrighty, here's Shockwave in his robot mode, minus one final step, which I'll show you in a minute. And he looks pretty cool. I mean, um, look at that face. Just look at that face. That single eye. See that? That is just cool. That's Shockwave. So, he's a pretty cool figure. Um, let me show you what I was talking about. Uh, if you come back here, lift up this one side, all right? You can take this tread out. It's not the easiest thing to do, but you take the tread out, all right? Like that. Put the tread back. And then here on his gun, as you can see, there is a place where you can clip that in. All right, it's nice and secure. And now he has the hose coming off his off his back and onto his gun. All right. Now I'm having a slight problem having him stand. I think. One of the uh, the gears in his 
left leg here. I think the um, ratchet snapped during transformation. So now, as you see, it's kind of floppy. I'm going to have to get in there and do something about that. All right. You see, there's a ratchet on this side. But that was actually a problem on this one. If I tighten this up with something, it might actually make him bet stand better. But, uh, yeah, we'll go over his articulation, which is actually pretty cool. Um, his head just is on a swivel. Nothing major. Arm can rotate all around. What's nice is when it goes up, this is spring-loaded. So his shoulder pauldrons actually follow his arm. Swivel here. He has a ball joint at his wrist. It's a very tight ball joint, so be careful when the first few times you mess with it. All right, this arm has almost the same articulation as the other. The arm cannon does kind of hinder things, but still, as you see, it's on swivels and everything else. Nothing at the waist. Hips, you know, they're supposed to be on ratchets to go out, but I think, uh, like I said, I think this one kind of bit the dust during transformation. Oh, well. He has a swivel just below his knee, which is weird, but he also has a swivel in his thigh. So you get a lot of movement there. He has a little bit of pivot in his foot too. So, and his feet are pretty big. So he, he can hold some really stable, cool poses if you want him to. And once you can get him to stand. Come on. Don't make a liar out of me. There we go. Now there is, um, of course, the gimmick does work, but there is actually a molded-in stopping point right there for the gun to hold, slightly hold it when you're not using the gimmick. So if you just want to pose him being imposing, you can. See? Not too shabby. Um, like I said, not going to show off Majora's Mask on him. Not going to happen. What we'll do is we'll bring in Beast Hunter's Optimus Prime. Who I have been adding paint to slowly. As you can see, I've redid the Star Saber and stuff like that in his chest. Um, and you can see, about the same size. Similar bulk. He feels more solid than Optimus. Optimus feels kind of hollow. Um, but they're still, they're, they're two really nice figures from the line. Shockwave is really the tops. Um... He really is. Probably one of the best figures to come out of the Beast Hunters line so far. So, alright. You guys be good. As you see what's aimed towards the camera. You don't want to wake up to that in your face. Alright? Later.